All these nations, we are inside one nation, and they splitted, then come to form alliance of together. Finland was under Russia. But Epa still maintained that December 2nd is sacrosanct, that nothing will stop, you know, the independent day of Biafra, December 2nd. And we've seen Finland government and the United States of America government finally come out to back, out, back the Biafra agitation. Um, do you see, see this finally manifesting, being that the United States is uh, backing EPA and Biafra? God bless you, my brother. You know, whenever I speak to you people, this platform, I, always, I like referring to the Word of God. The Bible says in the book of Exodus, chapter 3, verse 7, and the word of God say, and the Lord say, for I have surely seen the affliction of my people in Egypt, and I have come down to deliver them. So now, people like America, the news is going to them. They don't take it serious. They don't really realize or understand what is going on. Feeling on other nations that will that may come to support. It is now like uh, Russia, they are all waiting. These people are not serious. Because the message they are getting from Nigeria government is different from what we are trying to make them understand. It is now that they now really understand our point. They really understand what we are going through. They really understand what we are passing through, what we are suffering in the hand of this country called Nigeria. The now, listen and listen very carefully. Now they have seen it and they have truly realized Okay, they need to do something. Uh, are we talking? Are we together? He said, it's not that they really now know that. Okay, yes. Let's look into this matter. That truly, it's like these people are making points here. Let's look into the matter and let's see. Are you getting it? And let's see what we can do to help. Are you getting it? If, they saw, if it is something that they can come in to help or something they can see back out. Are you getting it? So first and foremost, they need to come out. The, the Bible says, I have surely seen. Know that God was not hearing their voice for years. They have been crying talking to God. A very long time, God kept quiet. But to now, I have surely seen. Yeah, I have confirmed that it is true. So it is time I am good to go now. So that is what is coming to take place. Are you getting it? So America and the, not just America alone, the rest are now coming to see. Are you getting it? You know, when Israel and Palestine, before the war, when they came, when America saw even their own citizens, happened to be one of the victims of the game. What happened? They come out and support. You, you understand? So that is exactly what is it. If they are coming at them, they are coming at they have seen the reason. They have sit down, they have reason with our point. And they are like, okay, mm -hmm. we will look into the matter, we will support. And that is just it. Do you not know, think that... Um um, the Nigeria government will, um, you know, deem it fit um, for the U.S. You know, give them reasons why, you know, um, the Biafran independence should not come to fruition. Listen to me and listen very carefully. America, eh, are a nation formed with the different nations. Come together with the different nations. We have the U.K. Nations come together to have a nation. Is that not so? Yes. Uh -huh. So that means all these nations, we are inside one nation. And they split it, then come to form alliance of together. Finland was under Russia. Yugoslavia, the old Yugoslavia, Croatia and Co. Uh, Zambia and Montenegro. Slovakia, Slovenia. And the rest, there we are all, even Ukraine, Georgia, there we are under USSR. So they fought for the independent and they give them. And they're kind of trying to, that is one of the reasons why Putin doesn't want uh, NATO. 
uh, Ukraine to join NATO because it's one of them. Are you getting it? America should know this and Nigeria should understand it. You get it? America should know this and Nigeria should understand it. In America, every citizen of America, they have equal rights. Are you getting it? Irrespective of where you come from. Are you getting it? So, in Nigeria, everybody did not have equal rights. Imagine Fulani in my own line terrorizing me, telling me that nothing will happen. And truth, if you go to court, they will, they will judge in favor of the Fulani. They will judge in favor of Yoruba. Then Igbo, the real people who hold this nation, they are throwing them into the dish. No, enough. Marriage is not by force. One Nigeria is a scam. So let's, I want to go with my people. Let Nigeria stay with their people. So they should know, understand it. It's not against the UN law. Every freedom started in heaven. God is the architect of freedom. You understand? So if you start to fight it, it's not a sin. It's not a crime. Are you getting it? Both in heaven and the earth before our own generation. People have been fighting freedom and they have been gaining freedom. So if we stand for our freedom, it's not a crime. So I don't know. Any, whichever way Nigeria may come about it is none of my business. The issue remains, I want to go. We need that freedom. Nothing more than freedom. December 2nd, they see up. They see hope for the Biafran that December 2nd will come to fusion. I am not there. I am in Nigeria. I speak based on information or the question you throw at me. He that says he will declare it knows how far he has reacts with the people over there, the UN, Passe, international bodies, Passe, the AU, Passe, AU, that's African Union. Are you getting it? With other nations, are you getting it? That are involved, uh, that are supposed to be involved. So he know how he has react with them that makes him to say that day. But I'm still hoping that day, waiting for that. Is it not this year? This year and next year, I listened to one of his brokers. This year, next year, that uh, Biafra will stand. So until then, we are hoping and waiting. Are you getting it? But I strongly believe and I still stand for believe in Biafra. I want to go. I am tired of this one Nigeria that is not working. Every citizen of a nation is supposed to have equal rights. But in Nigeria, it's not so. So everybody should go to his or her own way. God bless you. Thank you. Come out from the Nigeria cage. Uh, yeah, now the canoe, now the canoes, uh, you know, coming out from the cage should be the first thing. That that is paramount now. And uh, Ohaneze, Biafrans in diaspora, uh, uh, Simon Epa, they are all prevailing. The Inanikano's legal teams, they are all prevailing on the federal government to make sure that. Now the country is let off the cage. So what I'm trying to say is that uh, Biafra freedom, you know, uh, a referendum, or if not even referendum, Biafra freedom, United States, Finland, and other groups, people like uh, you know those Igbos in Europe, all over the world, they are working hand in hand with the United Nations, with the legal teams, to let now the country off the hook first. Nandikanu is abducted, is not imprisoned. Nandikanu is not detained. Nandikanu is kidnapped, kept in kidnappers den. D.E.N. Nandikanu is not arrested, is not imprisoned, is not even incarcerated. Nandikanu is abducted by his captors. Nandikanu is being held captive by Nigerian government. When the court has already exonerated him, released him, the sergeant uh, acquitted with some benefits, incentives that should be paid by federal government of Nigeria. What is stopping the, 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 the man in charge then, 
Buhari and Malami. So let's go. What is stopping the current government? Bola Ahmed Tunubu, Ariwola, the 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 the, the Lagbaja chief of army staff. Listen and listen good. What is stopping them from letting go? They should allow somebody that court has already set free to go free. If the same court is holding some criminals like uh, armed robbers, murderers, ransom. It is not a, co a court of competent jurisdiction or justice anymore because the court set somebody free. The executive is holding that person hostage. The Nigerian president I know, if you ask me, should be arrested. Yes, because he has violated someone, infringed on someone's rights. Nandi Kanu is still going to go far with the federal government of Nigeria for illegally detaining him, retaining him, using the SS as a tool to hold an innocent person. That one is an infringement of highest order. What is stopping the federal government from holding Igbowo? Is it not the same agitation business? The same thing Igbowo was doing? Is it not the same thing Nandi Kanu is doing? Why allowing Igbowo to go? Igbowo has now been a past. Nandi Kanu is still there. Igbowo's story should be in passive, you know? Their sentence. Yes. Past tense is passive. Because he's gone. Nandi Kanu started this business before Igbowo and they are doing the same thing. Nandi Kanu is presently being oppressed, incarcerated, unnecessarily by the government of the day. So what are we saying? A session for Biafra, America has approved it, Finland approved it, because prove, prove, Finland went same hardship, excruciating one, on the hands of former USSR. They struggled and struggled to be free from USSR. Until 1956, they were allowed to go. So that's why there's nothing you are telling Finland today. Finland starved their children. They could not pay their children's school fees. They contributed money in 1967 to feed Biafran children. When Pachoko was ravaging Biafran children during the war, Finland understood what it takes to be at a war like what was happening between Biafra and Nigeria 50-something years ago. Finland made an announcement. They used their money, starved their children. They could not pay their children's school fees to make sure that they feed Biafra children. It is a history today. And nobody could allow history to thrive on our educational curriculum because they don't want us to know what happened in the past. That Finland you see, they help Biafrans. They helped us during the war. That's why today, the Finland government, I know, they are working hard with one of us, Simon Epa, Biafran Prime Minister in exile, to make sure that Biafra emancipated any moment from now. The date, 2nd December, is sacrosanct, and nobody's denied Biafra that, that date. Finland has gone through what Biafra is going through today, in the past, under Russia. That's why I'm telling you that nothing can ever stop Biafra from moving forward. From emancipating. Emancipation of Biafra is sacrosanct. And anybody that is saying that Biafra will not come to be, I think that person is making a big mistake of his life. Tinubu cannot stop Biafra. Malami cannot stop Biafra. Chagari cannot stop Biafra. Gowan is still alive. He cannot. Oga, Ariwola, CGN cannot stop Biafra. Go and tell him. Malami cannot stop Biafra. Buhari, if he likes, he should run to Niger, his ancestral land. He cannot stop Biafra. Biafra is coming. If you rebel, relax. Relax this. Ibo man, the war was raging since 1970, 54 years ago. The war of restoration of Biafra sovereignty, 54 years ago. If you rebel, like so, we are here fighting hard, working hard to make sure that on a platter of gold, 
Biafra Emma's pets. Rulers. Once you have major in Nigeria, they are rulers. And when we go to Amoyoba Kuni, we like you die. No. Essence, how many people died at Lekki? They say people are like, like, like. Rulers. But leaders have that empathy. Ah. Okay, um, so someone has come and said that um he's ready, you know, that nothing will stop August 5 um revolution. Um, do you think um the federal government will not um, put him in his place by arresting him? Do not do nothing to stop him because he has um 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 come out to show proof of when Tunumbu and Buari came out and, and and insist on a revolution. And this at the same time, Punch has also deleted, I think on a, they're on the database where you know, Tunubu said um, such a statement. You know, uh, does this bow for democracy? Um, thanks for having me on your wonderful platform here. And please don't, don't forget to subscribe to um, Read One, um, media channel. Uh, also call me, um, media, media channel. channel. You know, don't forget to subscribe to get um, um, analysis on everything Peter Obi and politics. So I'm looking at it from this side. Uh -huh. The Bible says uh -huh. that you, you cannot serve two masters. Yeah. So people like um, Shore should be, should, they should be, they should be afraid to deal with. But you don't know the side of the divide that Shore is. So they have, you know, they have moved later. I don't have mentioned it. They have left the problem and they are attacking a man that they said took thought. You so saw how all of them were busy attacking Peter Obi. Whereas the citizens are suffering, they, they, are, they are in poverty, they can't um, um, afford basic necessities and everything. Understand? I give an example. In my compound, you might to sell bread. Every day she leaves the bread outside, she goes to sleep. And every time. But then yesterday, she left the bread, somebody came, we don't know the person that is the compound, no concern. They stole two bread, three ten and two, mm. and and that one two that seven mm. I'm not surprised. But I've already warned her. Mm. That the way the guy is going, yeah, the hunger, the hunger. I don't feel the way this country is going. Why would you the? There's no. <laughs> but she will repent. She will repent for for and for the. Then maybe she have to take her bread inside. The level of hunger in the country, <laughs> of poverty in the country alone. Yeah. But then all of them, they will attack him, Peter Obi. Mm. All of them. All of them. Obi, 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 Obi. And I thank God, the thing that, when, you know, there's a way hunger in my language, that if the level of hunger is, has not yet spread round, you cannot fight against hunger. Now, they are talking about protests. Now, again, you are hearing about other people say that they, want, that they are defenders. <laughs> I cannot laugh. They are defenders of the government. That's where we are in 2024. That in Nigeria, if the devil gives people money, the devil, Satan, they will tell that devil is blood. You see, people defend all of atrocities because of money. What to it? So um I cannot touch over it. Maybe if he proves himself worthy enough to be trusted, like for example, we saw how he stood with Namdekanu, which is very that's Israel, which is very good. But you now we stay, you see him trying to juggle all these things. But let him start one place, let us know where it's from. You cannot serve two masters. You cannot go here today, go here tomorrow, go here today, go here tomorrow. You need to be consistent. Be consistent. Stay one place. Yeah. Let's know where you are. Then you can say yes. So where is something? But for now, mm. I don't trust him. Because he was one of the people that against Jonathan. You saw the propaganda and everything. Mm. That they until they remove the man. And under mm. Jonathan, people were they were Nigerian. Like, God Almighty. Ten thousand that will buy you a bag of rice under Jonathan. And different tubers of yam. Do you not think that is one of Nigeria's biggest mistakes yes, in now, 2015? I want them. Sacking Jonathan from office. Do you not think I, 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 Oh, God. Thank God, sir. Thank God. I want them. But thank God. Yes, sir. Ten thousand that time will buy you a bag of rice and different tubers of yam. Yeah, now, ten thousand cannot buy seven decks of rice. Ten thousand cannot buy you six cups of beans. Mm. Yeah, since they since they have been mm. sent out.